Yo, what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial welcome back to another exploring tutorial on specific and we're gonna be going over how to write configuration files and read them on signups so let's go so the first thing we're gonna do is just make a version checker so we're gonna do local version equals 1.0.0a okay it's gonna be our version then what we're gonna do is do if um if file uh, oh wait. Uh, is if is file uh, slash tutorial yt. Uh, it needs to be a string. I'm sure. Slash tutorial dot cfg. I'm just gonna use a cfg file because it's a configuration, so people know what it is. You can use a txt file though. Um. Then end. Okay. We're going to add an else. And we're just going to do stuff that makes it. So we're going to do um, make folder slash uh, slash tutorial. YT. And then we're gonna go ahead and make file or um write file and then we're gonna write it to the path of tutorial YT and we're gonna go ahead and call it tutorial.cfg and the content it will contain the version. There we go. Let's go ahead and execute that. Oh I uh Okay, here we go. Tutorial YT. And here is our tutorial.cfg. And we're just going to right click. And we're just going to open it with Notepad. And there's our version. So, there we go. Um, now, what we're going to do is if we change this version here, just change something like that. Hit execute. It should not be rewritten. So, let's just edit it. I'm just going to edit Notepad. Yeah. Okay, so it's not rewritten, which is good because we want it to be able to detect. Okay, so we're going to make a function. And we're just going to call it function check version. And that's all it's going to contain. Okay, and then we need to make a get the content of our file. So local config version equals uh, read file. And then we're going to read the file. Just add into the path of your file, which is tutorial yt tutorial.cfg okay and then we're gonna do uh, check real quick and this is just gonna contain code to check so if config version is equal to um if config version is equal to uh, version then I think version is a global yeah it's a global okay so we're just gonna call it uh actually we should call it just capitalize it yeah if config version is equal to version then print correct version else print in correct version Okay, and then what we're going to do is call check version here and execute. Um, I have some stuff from previous. Oh, I think we got an error. Okay, file does not exist it's on line two. And you can't read something that. So this is the issue here. You can't read something. Oh, wait, never mind. Tutorial. I spelled it wrong. Um. Okay. We're just going to ha actually have this as local config version here, and we're going to set it here. And then put that down there. Yep. Okay, so we get con correct version here. Correct version. 
and then if we go ahead and change this to 0.1, we get incorrect version. Okay, so let's explain what this script does. So this is practically how you write configuration files to determine certain things. So we're going to go ahead and make one for a, like a dark and light mode just from uh, from scratch here. Actually, no, we can keep using the tutorial thing. And then we're just going to write a file. We're just going to write... Um, we're just going to make a... Actually, just make it from, from scratch here. So we're going to call... We're just going to do... Uh, local UIS equals game get service. User input service. Okay, and then we're just going to use this and we're going to do uis.input begin connect function. I don't know why this is so fucked. Okay. Input. Okay. If input.keycode is equal to enum.keycode.e, then. Um, uh, L equals true, or deb equals true, uh, we'll call, call deb equals true, uh, so then we're gonna call, uh, we're just gonna call write file, slash, uh, what did I call it? Yep. Tutorial YC slash tutorial dot CFG. And we're going to write the content is we're going to write our mode. So we're just going to call this mode. Mode light. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, um, then we're going to add if if deb then we're going to write dark and then we're going to set dev equals false There we go. Okay. And this should pretty simply just write that file. So, um, let's go, go ahead and call this and hit E and open this with notepad. And we have mode light. Hit E again. I hope that with brackets by accident. And we have mode light. See, if we have mode light again, okay, we do. Let's just hit it one more time. Let's see if we still have mode light. Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fix this real quick. So else if deb equal to false, then... If dev is equal to true. Okay, we actually need to hit this. Do that. I'll say if dev equals false, then dev equals true. Get rid of this local. Okay, let's do this again. Mode light. Mode light. Okay, well, um, okay, yeah, modify another program. So it gets modified, which is good. Uh, it's just not setting it to dark, so if dev is equal to true, so it should be dark first. Uh, I think it's just inflecting with the other script. So let's just write it out and see what happens. So then we're just gonna print.
we're just gonna print uh, read file, and then we're just gonna read the tutorial yt slash tutorial cfg. Okay, and we're just gonna print the mode just like that. So we're actually gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna restart this. Okay. Execute this. Hit F9. So it stays dark. So let's fix that. It's gotta be some debounce issue. So it goes it goes light, the first one. And it stays dark. So let's see if we can fix this. Look what that goes true. Put this out of here. If print file, okay. If dev is equal to, is equal to true, then do that. Dev equals false. If dev is equal to false, then Oh, we're setting dev to Okay, this wouldn't really actually matter, but you know what? Let's do it anyway. Okay, let's just go ahead and restart Roblox now. I'm recording for quite a bit of time, but... Okay, now it's just staying on light. Um... Instead of... Oh, because the debounce is always switching. That's it. So what we can always we can do is we can do if read. F Actually, we we'll just do yeah if yeah just change this to always so local content equals read file. Okay, so if content is equal to mode dark. Uh, actually, mode light, then it's going to write the uh, the dark, and we get rid of this. And then we're gonna, if content is equal to mode dark, then file, and then we're just going to make sure tutorial is spelled right. Yeah, that's all spelled right. So then if I just like to do this to make sure all of them light up. Okay, good. Start this. Go back in. Execute that. And then we're gonna hit um E. There we go. You swap to light and duck. So if it says dark, reload that. Should be the actually it should be the opposite, I think. Okay, so it's it's the opposite because it's not printing after we switch it. So we can just fix this by printing the file at the very bottom. Like that. So yeah, all all in all it's pretty easy to understand the concept of reading and writing files. Um, my game just crashed, but, uh, there we go. Okay, so it should be light. Yep, it's light. It's dark. So, yeah, you can do this to store, to store stuff. Um, you can check stuff. Like, you can add variables, too. And you can also run scripts within it. Uh, which is a whole other thing that I might get to in another video. But, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.